So I've been working with three different types of clay here at the VAS studio in at Pedro St. James. And I usually use faux porcelain, which is beautiful. It's white, it's very satiny and smooth. Then this one is stoneware, which needs to be fired with special glazes at a higher temperature. Then the other two, this is um, it looks like terracotta, but I understand that it's colored um, earthenware. This here now is what we call greenware because it hasn't been fired. So these go into the kiln, and in the kiln, this is a little replica of how the kiln, electric kiln in the other building works. It has different cones, and each cone, you would know what temperature that cone is going to bend at. So you set it to whatever cone you need. But I am fortunate, I am blessed, I am really grateful to be BS because I don't have to worry about the kill. I just have to, and I don't worry about ordering my materials. I just have to be creative and enjoy myself. So once you put on a clear gloss, then it, this difference between that matte with no shine and this with shine. You can also use the same glazes, the commercial glazes, and you can almost use them like watercolors. So you have different gradients of green in here, a little bit, a little touch of brown. This here shows that Sometimes I also use other materials besides the glaze and, the, and the, uh, the clay. So in this case, I'm using rope. I probably replaced this with some silver touch rope because this is one of my major pieces. It's called letter from C. And then this is one of the little letters. And once this is fired, you'll be able to see the writing on it and see the message that the seafarer sent back to his wife. This one here is actually supposed to be like a wind chime, so it has to be held uh, hung, hung up somewhere. This here now is form of texturing that I've used. Um, this is my secret tool. I'm not telling anybody what I used to get this part. This was based on a real piece of coral that I bought long before there were restrictions on buying coral. And if you look very, very carefully down in here, you see some teeny tiny little turtles. And this is called Safe Haven. Um, and the little turtles were made with regular rubber stamps. Here you have different types of texturing. And now and again, I like to make little, little tiny people. This is the shape of a sail in here. And this piece here is going to be called um, for a leaf. This one, another type of uh, texturing tool that I use to make the little circles. Now, there are mistakes. I have tons of mistakes. And sometimes I learn from my mistakes and sometimes I don't. Um, happy accidents. So if you come this way and look at my tsunami, this is my wave, you will see this. Come now, come here so you can see the blister. And that is if you're not careful and the gate glaze will pull when it's being fired and then it turns into a blister. But this has turned out to be a very happy accident because I'm going to cover that with surprise. <laughs> when it's totally finished, you'll see what the surprise was. So here we have another accident where this broke into three because it was very, very thin. Ordinarily, it's not that thin. And so I'm going to mount this on a piece of wood and then we will this is a glazed pocket here um, for a little air plant. So it goes on the wall. I have several wall pieces. 
these are some oh I have to show you this this is very funny so this is this is still drying but this goes over that little piece there and you see the little head sticking out of the hole and that's gonna be granny doppy in a hole in a hole over here now I am looking at these unfinished pieces and this is going to be this is a mother and her daughter and they both had beautiful long hair so this is going to be put on a mirror a framed mirror both of them have their own little mirror so that's unusual for this I have to use glue in this case to attach it to the mirror and I also have a comprehensive listing and inventory of who each piece is going to be given to. It's to honor all the women who have made my life much, much more exciting and fulfilling than ordinarily. And they are women of distinction in my mind. Each of them is very special. And so after the exhibit, I'm going to give these pieces to them.